Hello everyone. In this tutorial, what I'll be covering is the PHP do while loop. And the do while loop is very similar to the while loop, except the condition of the do while loop is checked after the code within the loop has been executed at least one time. So now I will show you a basic layout for a do while loop. So what I'm first going to do is write in a comment block. And I'm going to say do. I'm going to spell out the word do. I'm going to open a curly brace. On the next line, I'm going to say do this at least once. And really, I'm just saying execute this code. Close my parentheses there. And next on the next line, I'm going to close my curly brace. And then next to that curly brace, I'm going to say wow, this condition is true. Close my parentheses and lastly, don't forget a semicolon. So let's take a look at this again. So I say do this at least one time. Execute this code at least one time. I don't care about what the condition is at this point. Just go ahead and execute it. However, after you do execute this code at least once, I want you to then check to see if this condition evaluates to true. If it does evaluate to true, I want you to repeat this process over again. However, if this condition evaluates to false, I just want you to break out of this do while loop and continue on with the rest of the code in this file. So unlike with the while loop where we remember the while loop condition would be at the top and we would check the condition before we executed the code within the curly brace. However, with the do while loop, we at least execute this code at least once and then we check the condition so it's like the reverse of the while loop so now let's convert our previous example in the last tutorial that displayed the multiples of three from one to 50 into a do while loop so what i'm going to do is copy our example from our last tutorial right here and i'm just going to convert this over into a do while loop so what I can easily do is just take the while portion and I'm going to put it after this curly brace. And I'm just doing this to help speed up the process here. And then I'm just going to type the word do here. And what we have to remember here is to type a semicolon after this while condition. All right, so let's reevaluate what we have here. First, I created a variable, nothing new here, and I assigned the numerical value one to it. And then we reach our do while loop. So what I'm saying here is, again, do this, execute this code before you even check a condition. It doesn't matter what the condition is right now. Just go ahead and execute it. So again, we're assigning three times counter, which is one to answer and that's going to equal three then i'm going to echo out that information and i'm really just saying three times one equals three and then we're going to increment our counter so again counter is now going to equal two we're just adding one to counter and i'm kind of just going through this fairly quickly since i did explain this in the previous tutorial so if you want to get a more in-depth uh explanation about this just view the previous tutorial but in a way again i'm just incrementing counter and then after I execute this code, then I'm going to check this condition. So again, the name itself of this type of loop should give it away that we're going to do this. We're going to do this while this condition is true. So we're going to do all this and then we're going to check this condition. So since counter equals two now, which is less than 50, less than or equal to 50, it evaluates to true. We're going to repeat this over again. So we're going to execute this code again, and then we're going to check the condition inside our while loop to see if it's true or false. So what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and save this and I'm going to call it do while dot PHP. Then I'm going to load this into my browser, type localhost, the PHP basics, and let's change this to do while hit enter. And as you can see, it displays all our calculations all the way down to 50. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, just to show you the difference here, cause that really looks familiar to what we've seen in the previous tutorial, I'm gonna make this condition false. So to make this condition false, counter would need to be 51, which is not less than or equal to 50. All right, and I'm gonna hit save. 
and let's see what happens. I'm going to refresh my browser. And as you can see, it says three times 51 is equal to 153. So let's see what happened there. Since counter equals 51, we're going to go ahead and execute this code. Remember, we're not going to check the condition here yet. So really, it's saying three times 51. Again, it's assigning that answer, which is 153, to the variable answer. Again, it's echoing out that information. It's really just three times 51 equals 153. And then again, we're incrementing the counter. So really, counter equals 52 now. So then when we get to this while condition, when we check the condition to see what it evaluates to, 52 is not less than or equal to 50. So it stops executing this do while loop and continues on with executing the rest of the code in this file if we have any. All right, so hopefully it's clear to you what the differences are between the do while and the ordinary just while loop, the do while loop and the while loop. Again, the code with the do while loop is gonna execute this code at least one time and then it's gonna check the condition and the while loop is gonna check this condition before it executes this code. So that does conclude this tutorial and hopefully now you have a new or better understanding of the PHP do while loop. So be sure to take the online quiz at the phpbasics.com to ensure that you understand the basic concepts for a do while loop and I will see you in the next video.